Hi, I'm the Tabletop Teacher, and in this video, I'll be unboxing the first eight boosters of a gravity feed box of Heroclix Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Unplugged. Thank you very much to WizKids for sending me this for us to preview. This is Series 4 from the TMNT line, and like previous sets, this one has the classic rarity distribution of common, uncommon, rare, super rare, and chase figures. There are 24 boosters in a gravity feed box, and there are close to 40 characters in this set. Let's see what we got. In the first booster, we pull an uncommon, beautiful, pixelized foot elite equipped with a boomerang. For only 25 points, this character seems pretty interesting. The boomerang special attack power lets you reroll an attack roll if you missed by only one or two in a range attack. That's nice. And the sacrifice swarm is going to be interesting with exactly that, a foot swarm. In a nutshell, the foot elite can be given either a free attack or a free move of up to two squares after an adjacent friendly character is knocked out or took three damage. Cool. In the second booster, we find a rare Han Tan the Rat King. Oh, this is fun. You'll have giant rats coming out of a hole with this one, and that hole to the rat lair can be placed in any square at least five squares away from a starting area. This could really annoy an opponent on a map with a lot of walls and blocking terrain. You'll need to have giant rats gang up together to be useful in combat. For 50 points, I'm sure some players will do wonders with this piece. And in booster number three, we get ooh, Earth Shattering Pool! This is a Chase Donatello, number 38 in the set. Okay, this one's amazing. I wasn't sure how I felt about the pixelized look, but it really works. Donatello ignores character bases for movement, and you may move Donatello one square at the beginning of your turn. Now, on top of that, in that same trait, auto-scrolling skate level, Donatello also gets a free action to move up to three squares in a direct path. When you start playing hero clicks, those few squares of free movement might not seem like much, but they are, especially with automatic breakaway. This, along with a charge of five and his bow staff special attack power that gives him a giant reach of two, is crazy good. But if you prefer playing him at 75 points, he'll start with hypersonic speed that can ignore elevated and hindering terrain if you sacrifice 3 points of speed. Indomitable, outwit on the first click at 100 points, can't wait to test this guy on the battlefield. And in the fourth booster we find a common axe wielding purple foot soldier. His combat values are very low, but costs only 15 points. The thing with these guys is that a swarm of them could be coming back all the time. That's what the swarm at the screen's edge trait does. The special attack power is a Blades Claws Fangs variant that critically hits on attack rolls of 11 and 12, so that will help some. I'm guessing there are other foot soldiers that share some of these traits. In booster number 5 we get a common Michelangelo. His power move special attack power is very good, plus one to attack, move three squares, and then make up to two close attacks? In essence, that's a boosted charge and flurry minus a square. Nice. In the sixth booster, a common rock soldier. Oh, this is an interesting trait. Did you ever find yourself midway through a game with a character that has super strength, but there are no heavy objects left for you to use? This guy could be the solution to that problem. When he's knocked out, you generate a standard heavy object in its square. Only three clicks, but he is invulnerable and has super strength, so having two or three of these guys should be fun, especially with a stronger character that has super strength and mastermind. In the seventh booster, we get an uncommon foot elite, also with an axe. The axe does the same thing as the common foot elite's axe does, blaze claws fangs that gets critical hits with attack rolls of 11 or 12. He costs 10 more points, but has clearly better combat values and powers. His Sacrifice Swarm trait is interesting. When an adjacent friendly character takes 3 damage or is knocked out, this guy gets an Opportunity Token, which can later be spent to get a free action attack or move up to 2 squares. With his Sidestep and Combat Reflexes on the first 2 clicks, that could be very useful. And in the last booster for this video, a Rare Foot Elite, armed with a huge hammer. Hmm, leadership on an unnamed character? That's going to help if you play a lot of foot characters. His hammer also gets a critical hit from attack rolls of 11 and 12, but on top of that, it has Quake, and you may give one hit character an action token. That's really good. 45 points, 5 clicks, 3 damage, a free action special speed power that allows him to move up to 3 squares in a direct path, 
plus the same sacrifice swarm trait we just saw in the uncommon foot elite worth pushing to get perplex on that second click there's a lot of potential here well that's it for part one of this unboxing eight different pulls no doubles very nice designs and a crazy good chase which one's your favorite up until now share your thoughts in the comments below make sure to like this video subscribe to this channel and support it through patreon and as always thanks for unboxing with me